hello everyone welcome back so in today's tutorial i am going to introduce you to one of the open source uh, music player which is available on github so let's have a look so this is a music player which i am going to introduce you today so basically this music player has two uh, layout themes there so three layout themes that is uh, dark and that is gray and that is white so these three themes your music player contains after that your music uh, player player screens are something looks like this these are layout that your application will contain home songs album and settings this is setting screen from where you we can customize each and everything and every screen's layout uh, of your music player uh, for example from your setting you can also change the play currently playing song screen of theme of that screen uh, right so it contains uh, almost uh, more than 10 uh, different themes for that layout as you can see on our screen Each and every screen has different layouts, so this uh, you can choose any uh, one of the layouts from the setting, and you can customize the whole application from the setting part, right? Uh, so, and this contains many for other features. But before that, uh, let's go to our application and let's see how it works and uh, what actually it looks like, right? So, let's go to our app. So, this is my app, mobile, and I had already installed it, and it is known as Retro Music Player. And this is our splash screen, which app contains. And first of all, it will ask the permission to access your uh, songs or playlist from your mobile phone. So let's allow this. And once you have done that, you can see this is our uh, application. And if you go to home, uh, uh, you can see at the bottom we have a bottom navigation bar. And whenever we click, we click on this any of the option, we see the animated icon here, right? As you can see. The all the icons are animating whenever you select it. So this type of bottom navigation bar it contains. After that, you can see this beautiful layout that it contains. Right? This is our home screen. And if you go to songs, it will show you all the songs from your uh, memory card or mobile in built internal memory. And if you go on the top of this screen, uh, we have two options here: play all and shuffle. Play all will play all the songs one by one. And if you click on shuffle, it will uh, play random songs. So after that, you are having on top your search option. By clicking here, you can uh, type the name of your song and you can search it in your playlist or your internal mobile phone. And you are also having your uh, more more other options to grid uh, side layout if you want, uh, or you if you want the different types of grid. So let's click on image. It will show you this type of grid. And if you Click on if you select another any other style filler, then it will show you this type of layout, right? So basically, it contains many more different types of layouts here, so you can customize it as per your wish, uh, however you want it, right? So it shows you gradient layouts. So let's make it default one, card one, so it looks uh, cool, right? So after that, uh, one more option you are having is you know search. You are having your uh, search with audio player option, right? So you can click here and tell the name of your song you want to search. So let's uh, search for first song, and it will search uh, the song with that same name, right? So this is the thing which I said on mic, and it doesn't have the song same as with this name in my phone number, right? So this is our songs part. After that, if you go to home part. Here you are having your profile, right? You can see a username. So if you click on this, you are navigated to another screen. From here, you can uh, set your cover page. You can set your profile picture, and you can set your name. So let's change your cover page first. Uh, I'll select whatever I want from here. Let's select this one, and and let's change your profile picture. I'll change this one, right? Let's change the name to Odus Integrity. Integrity and let's click on save. As you can see, it has been saved and says me welcome for the integrity. After that, you are having here four options. First one is history, where you will see the history of whatever songs you had played yet. Last added, which songs you had last added to your phone memory. Uh, most played, uh, the recent, I mean the repeated songs you play, that you can see it here. And in shuffle, you can shuffle all the songs from your phone memory. So as you can see, my one of the song has been started. Let's pause it, and if you swipe it up, you can see this is our layout of our uh, song player list, right? In this uh, screen, our we can play our songs. From here, you can play or pause your song 
after that you can shuffle your song from here or you can click on next you can forward or uh, uh, next or previous song you can play from here you can add so you can uh, do whatever uh, many more options you are having here you can also give it a sleep timer uh, you can control its audio recording and all after that you can also click on this option to go to cube and select the particular song to play you can also clear all the song by clicking on this clear cube cube right after that uh, we are having many more options in this let's go to third option that is albums uh, from here you can create the album and uh, you can save the songs into those album or you can do basically this is an album like stuff after that you are having your artist option so you can see the list of the artists that the songs you your mobile phone has and last one is playlist here you can add the playlist I and mean, you can create any of the playlist here and then add the song into this playlist right then after that we are having one option is setting option which is common to all the screens so let's go to our setting option and you can see here uh, basically this setting option is to customize the whole application as per your user requirements so first here is look and feel let's change the look and feel of our screen so first option is add theme as i said you uh, previous that uh, we are having three different types of things so let's make it white so this is our white theme and uh, let's go back and see how it looks like you can see this is the look of our white theme you can also change this color to black to any other right i showed you how to customize these cards let's customize it to sorry for that let's customize it to variant right it looks a bit good right so after that uh, we are having different image that is kinder dark that it was previously first theme and last one is follow system that's black after that uh, just black if you click on just black it will enable only the black thing and from here follower system is your system theme whatever color your system contains after that it is accent color currently i am having accent color as purple but i can change it to any of the color right so let's change it to red now it's accent color is red now you have from by enabling it it will uh, give you the materialistic color that your app mobile phone has so my mobile phone's material color is orange so it shows me orange if i enable it it goes back to red and you can also enable the adaptive color that your system contains after that the app shortcuts shortcuts right so this is basically, basically coloring part after that let's go to now playing the now playing is the screen on which we place the song right so from here you can select the theme i saw i told you in previous uh, previously that we are having 10 different themes for our now playing screen so as you can see here you are having each of the screen from here you can select and set that theme for your application uh, as you can see this uh, circle theme looks cool right so for, you can select here for, and set it to your application uh, after that uh, you can enable this to get the song info on that screen on the same screen to show you all the information of that song that when the song has been recorded and all, all, all like stuff after that the album cover theme you can also co select the cover theme from here after that uh, album color cover skip and uh, the how you should skip the song that one is here you can try it out after that if do you want a carousel effect for your uh, playing now screen for example if you need to uh, next you need to play next song right so instead of clicking the next button you can all, you, uh, you can simply slide that uh, play now screen by using this carousel effect right you can enable it from here after that uh if you have any extra controls here uh it will show the player will give an extra options some like after that we have any, uh, volume controls it will give an, uh, another space uh another option you to control the volume ups and downs of the volume uh after that it will uh uh if whenever you play this song you can see at the bottom we get the notification we can slide up to uh, see play now screen right so if whether you want that or not after that you are having blur amount you can from here you can whenever you, the play screen contains the background blur background as a blur effect right so you can control it from here now let's go back and let's go to third one is our audio section from here you can also change the audio i mean uh, change the settings of your audio right now let's go back and we are having personalized so this section has the uh, this this type of stuff so uh, as you can as you as we saw previous that our songs video contains different types of layout for our songs so you can control them from here you can use your tiny cards or circular or color cards or what you want you can control it from here 
uh, whether you want the top banner or not so it was disabled before but let's enable it now because we had already selected our banner right at the start of this tutorial uh, library categories uh, what what uh, what categories you should show in albums right so all this we have selected five options if you select this also it will be added to our bottom navigation and different section on our application right after that uh, if you want your application in full screen mode uh, so we know we don't know what that so let's disable it uh, we should show album cover yes we need to show uh, let's blur our album cover and do you want full screen controls in your application yes or no you can select it from here after that we are having images section so this is nothing but then uh, the cover page of our album you can change it from here do you want a notification as you can see uh, if whenever we play any of the song let's play as you can see this cover page we enable so it is showing now as the cover page right uh, if i play any of the song here play all Hello. right Hello. let's pause it and now as you can see from top we are giving notification right in the mobile phone we got this notification so uh, we can control this notification from this notification section to so enable it or not after we are having other section from here you can you are having many more options to control of your uh, mobile phone right you can select uh, languages from here you are, you are having a to z all the languages you can select any of the language and the application will be converted to that language right so when uh, in from here you can control the dialog corners of all dialogues whichever we have, we have shown in this application you can control all of them right and the filter of song duration you can control it from here after that you can also Black, uh, you can also place the blacklist of your songs from here. You can control them after that. We are having about section. So, here uh, the Amant uh, Sarvala who has created this application with uh, three of his uh, team members, I think. So, you can get the details of, of this developer from here. And the most important thing about this application is this application is made in India. So, um, I love it. Uh, after that, uh, so these are all settings options we are having in this application right as you can see here so this was the application i want to introduce you today and i hope you like this tutorial. actually i like i even i like this tutorial and as you i, I have shown why we have why will why we have a setting which is selected a carousel effect right so this was the carousel effect instead of clicking on next button you can just uh, slide it right to play the next one right and you can put it back to bottom and pause or play from here so this was the audio player i was going to show you today and uh, i'll give a link of this project in the description and you can take the source code from here and you can customize it and you can create your own music player and, and uh, publish it to your play store and this the whole project has been created using kotlin language so it's pretty easy to customize it and if you need any, any help regarding that please comment in the comment box or you can also mail me directly i have given mail in my description so hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.